from everyone there. And we would also like to say some special thanks to the West Virginia Young Democratic uh, Labor Caucus, who uh, initially worked on that. Uh, again, thank you for coming out, and I'm going to turn this over to the Mingo County Young Democratic President, Justin Markham, who was very, very uh, key in uh, getting this passed. First off, I want to say thank you to those coal miners here in the state of West Virginia who work hard every day. Also, I want to thank Governor Manchin and Secretary of State Natalie Tennant and all the young Democrats that helped me go write this and get it pushed through the House, the Senate, and the Young Democrats of American Convention in Chicago, as well as to where we stand today. With that said, I would also like to just thank Senators Byrd and Rockefeller, Congressman Ray Hall, Speaker of the House Richard Thompson, Doug Colmenar, Senate President Earl Ray Tomlin, the 23 House members who jointly proposed this resolution, as Dustin pointed out a minute ago, the Mingo County Commission, Clyde McKnight, and all the members of the AFL and CIO, the United Mine Workers. Furthermore, I would like to thank Governor Manchin for signing this resolution, which is now a proclama governor's proclamation honoring our state's coal miners. Coal miners are a proud heritage of West Virginia, and I'm humbled to honor them today. As for the history of the resolution, it, I will begin saying myself, Matt Sowards, and Chris Hatton sitting here introduced this resolution at the Labor Caucus meeting during the Young Democrats Convention in Wheeling. It was then forwarded on to the House where it passed 97 to 0. It then passed the Senate on a voice vote. And that brings us today to today where Governor Manchin will sign the proclamation titled West Virginia Coal Miner Appreciation Day. Thank you all for coming and God bless West Virginia coal miners. Amen.